I've always felt that the more I do something, the more resilient I become. So people that are, are thinking that, oh, I'm not resilient enough to go open water swimming or cold water swimming or wild swimming, trust me when I say this, that the, the water will give you that. All right. My name is Michael Kane. <laughs> My name is uh, Simon Harmer and I'm from Winchester in Hampshire. I joined the army in, uh, in 1997 as a combat medical technician. I served all over the world. Um, I did a couple of tours in Bosnia. I went to Iraq in 2003, the Congo, and then I found myself in Afghanistan. Um, I've been there for about a month when I left uh, our patrol base to go on a routine um, patrol and I activated an improvised explosive device which uh, left me as a, as a double leg amputee. Um, I was walking on my prosthetic legs less than two months after I was injured but um, my journey um, to recovery was, was kind of like it was up and down, um, kind of more ups and downs, but um, swimming was a huge part of, of my recovery and my uh, rehabilitation. It was something from easy for me to do, and having access to op open spaces really helped me uh, rehabilitate after, after losing my legs. And there was a sense of normalcy as well with, where I was in the water, no one could see that I'd been injured and a lot of the time I was actually either I was I wasn't having to run on, on prosthetic legs or a wheelchair and it just made me feel very very normal and like my old self really. I've got my tea, got my Yeti tea. I love a bit of Yeti. It's just utterly ridiculously clear. It's like it's incredible, this place. I love swimming at Bobster, uh, Bobster Key. Before I got injured, I did a lot of uh, pool swimming and that was kind of purely due to the fact there wasn't a huge amount of open water places to swim. What I found when I got injured is it kind of changed for me. It made it, it was, it was harder to swim because I can't tumble turn I can't push off with my feet from the end of the pool and it means that I'm doing a full 50 metres or a full 25 metres in a, in a pool where other swimmers are, are kind of like gliding for a few metres and that it did create problems. Although I am quite quick in the water, it's a real advantage being able to kick off and when I got injured I just found the joy that there's no tumble turning in the open water. There's no, um, there's no, there's no end. After I got in, injured in, in uh, 2009, I had a, a decision to make and it was literally, do I sink or do I swim? And I chose the water because um, it allowed me to, focus on my mental and physical health and well-being because being face down in the water it, it doesn't give you much option but to think about and to contextualize what's happened to you and really to figure out what I wanted from life and I suppose putting one arm in front of the other on that journey really helped me think about what happened and allowed me to stop treading water and, and move forward. <laughs> 